Hello and welcome to Retro Breeze. You asked and I deliver. This video will show you how to play MAME 2003 Plus arcade games on your Miu Mini. Arcade emulation can be pretty complex, but for this video, I decided to keep it as simple as possible. I may explore arcade emulation on the Miu Mini in more detail in future, but for now, let's get to it. Oh, one more thing. Thank you to absolutely everyone for helping me reach 400 subscribers. It was only a week ago that I hit 300, so I'm absolutely thrilled with the growth of my channel. I've loved creating interesting and useful content for all of you, and I look forward to doing more in the future. Alright, enough sloppy stuff, let's get to it. MAME stands for Multi Arcade Machine Emulator, and there are many versions, variation, and forks available. The most supported version on the Miu Mini's Onion OS right now is MAME 2003 Plus, which is what we're going to look at in this video. If you don't have the arcade system in your consoles list, go to Apps and then to the Onion Installer. In the consoles list, select Arcade MAME 2003 Plus, then press Start. Back out to the main menu and make sure the arcade is in your console list. The next step is kind of weird, but trust me. Insert your SD card into the PC and open the ROMs folder. You should see a folder named Arcade. In order for your arcade games to show up, you need to rename this folder to Arcade, but this time all in caps. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to use what are called non-merged ROM sets. You'll see the term ROM set a lot regarding arcade emulation. Typically, we use the term ROMs kind of willy-nilly, like a slang term meaning a game you can play on an emulator. For arcade games, it's called a ROM set instead. For the general purpose of this simplish guide, ROM set refers to an arcade game. Now, if for some reason you don't have a giant basement full of old arcade machines to dump your games from, you might want to find pre-dumped ROM sets online. Now, I cannot show you where to find them, but I will tell you what to look for. You want to look for non-merged ROM sets from MAME 2003 Plus. These are ROM sets, or games, that contain everything you need to play any one game in one easy file, including the game files, the system BIOS, and more. These files should be fully compatible with the Miu Mini's arcade core. For the most part, these games are plug and play, or rather, drag, drop and play. There is an incredible layer of complexity in how arcade games run, which I will not elaborate on here, but just look for non-merged ROM sets from MAME 2003 Plus. It is very hard to miss extremely big collections of ROM sets hosted on archival websites if you do a simple internet search. The best possible collection for compatibility is called the 2003 Plus Reference Set. If you find it, you'll probably end up with some zip files for your games. Another thing, in those big collections of games that you might find, the zip files inside might not be named obviously, because they won't have the same name as the game itself. Let's say I'm looking for a game called Metal Black. I can see in this particular list of games that there is a zip named Metal B. To confirm that this is the game I want, I'm going to browse to ADB arcadeitalia.net. In the search bar, I'll type Metal B. As you can see, it pops right up as Metal Black, so I know that Metal B.zip is the right game. Now, I'm looking for Marvel vs. Capcom. Rather than look down that long list of zips for something that sounds about right, I'm just going to search for the game on this site, Marvel vs. Capcom, and here you can see it pops right up. If I click on the search result, under Main Data, it will say ROM set and name. The name in the white box here, MVCSCJ, is the name of the zip I'm looking for, and in the file list, here it is, MVCSCJ.zip. By the way, sometimes these ROM set files will end in J, E, or U. This stands for Japan, Europe, and USA respectively, so choose whichever you like. Alright, I have a few ROM sets that I want to play here. They're just zip files containing each game and everything else they need to run. I'm just going to copy it to the arcade folder, reinsert the SD card into my mini, power on and then refresh ROMs by pressing function on the main screen. Now, in arcade, I happily see my games, and it actually picked up the full name for them automatically, rather than just showing the zip file name. Now I can just select a game I want and launch it. Wow, total blast from the past with this one, Mega Man Power Battle. Once in game, press the select button to virtually add coins, and then you can just go ahead and play. Alright, so we've gotten our games and are running them, but there are a few things you might want to play around with. Controls, Tate mode, and cheats. Here's how to do each of those. To check and customize the controls, during your game, press function and select to bring up the RetroArch menu. At the bottom, go to controls, then port 1 controls. On the left are the MiU's buttons, and on the right are the controls for the game. Most games are already pre-configured, but it can be useful to see what is what on the mini. Here's the control list for NBA Jam. As you can see, it names the controls, like shoot, block, turbo, steel, etc. So you can set these up however you like. If you end up customizing the controls, back out to the quick menu and select Overrides, then select Save Game Overrides to save the settings for that game. Don't save Core Overrides or Directory Overrides because that will change all the settings for all of your arcade games, and you may need all of them to be customized independently, so Save Game Overrides is where it's at. 
So another question I know I'm guaranteed to get is how to play in Tate mode. That is, rotating the screen 90 degrees to better use the space on the screen we have. Tate mode is really popular in vertical shoot-em-ups. Here's Raiden in normal mode, sometimes called Yoko mode, and here it is in Tate mode. This makes more sense for a rotatable monitor or tablet with a wider screen, but it's still kind of cool here on the mini as well. To enable Tate mode, enter the game, then press function and select to bring up the menu. Go to options, and then toggle on Tate mode. Back out to the quick menu and select overrides, save game overrides, to save your settings for the game. Press function to exit the game, then relaunch it, and it will be in Tate mode. You'll also want to change the controls to work in the sideways orientation as well. It actually works really well using the D-pad for movement and the back R1 and R2 buttons for the main game buttons. I really like playing like this actually, it's kind of fun and unique. And finally, how to activate and use cheats. We need to download a special cheat database file for this. I've left a link to that file, cheat.dat, in the description box below. On the page, right click the download button and click save link as, or similar, to save the file to your computer. Insert your SD card, browse to the BIOS folder, then drop the cheat.dat file into the main 2003 plus folder. Back on the mini with your SD card reinserted, boot into the game of your choice. I'm using Outrun. Once you're in game, press function and select to bring up the menu. Then go to options and find display Display MAME menu and toggle it on. Back out, then select Resume and you'll see the MAME menu overlaid onto your game. Scroll down and select Cheat, then select Enable slash Disable Cheat. You'll see a list of all the cheats available on the next screen. The cheat.dat we downloaded contains cheats for a massive number of arcade games and should cover nearly every game in your collection. Enable the cheats you want using the D-pad, back out to the MAME menu, then press Function and Select to bring up the menu again, go to Options, find Display MAME menu and this time toggle it off. Now just resume your game and there we go. You can see my timer is frozen at 99 and I'm driving uh, pretty fast in Outrun here. In fact, I have no choice. I cannot even break or slow down. Alrighty, this has been quite a long one, so let's wrap this video up. Be aware that not every arcade game is going to work, and certainly many won't work perfectly. This is an extremely complex emulator. When you load a game, look for a small message in yellow on the bottom left of the screen that will let you know what the status of the game is. Soul Calibur, for example, simply says game does not work and I agree with that. Some games might say missing audio or imperfect video or something like that, so pay attention to those messages. Also, your mileage on 3D arcade games won't be great on the Mini Mini at all. In fact, I've not found a single 3D arcade game that works even remotely playably. Here's Tekken. It works, but it is extremely slow and really unplayable. Stick to 2D games and you'll avoid disappointment. That said, most 2D games that do work, work extremely well, like Marvel vs. Capcom and Street Fighter Alpha 3. It's really quite amazing playing these games that used to take up so much room on a tiny pocketable handheld like this. And that's the basics of arcade gameplay on the MiU Mini. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe for more upcoming content. Let me know if you run into any problems and I'll do my best to assist you as always. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.